BB and welcome to my channel. Today I'm sharing an overview on my emergency sub plans. This year I decided to use a sub tub. So this is new for me. I've never used it before and you know what? I've seen a lot of elementary school teachers use it and it doesn't just have to be for elementary teachers. Secondary teachers could totally use this too. This year I decided to put my emergency sub plans together a little bit differently and so I ended up having a sub tub. So this will be behind my desk and I have it labeled. And these are the folders that I have inside. So in my first folder is a folder for the sub to take out for the day. So this is a two pocket pronged folder that I purchased from either Walmart or Target. They're 50 cents and they're always out at the beginning of back to school season. And I have it labeled with clear return address labels that I printed on. So this one just says sub folder. In the first pocket, I put in my sub plans. So this is what I would also provide to the school for my emergency sub plans. So they have my schedule and everything. And then I added for the pronged part of the folder, page protectors. So my first page protector is miscellaneous important information. And then behind that, I have where to find all the different things in my classroom. Now I have six more page protectors and they're for my different class periods. So here I have A period and in this pocket I would put in the roster. Behind that I could put in the seating chart. I haven't decided if I'm including seating charts or not this year just because they end up changing so frequently and I don't always update them. So it might just be the rosters that are in here. So this is for the sub to hold on to. So I have the subfolder in this yellow file folder and that's right at the front. And then I have my plans coded by prep. So my first prep is general geometry. My school requires that we have three days of emergency sub plans available. So what I have in each folder is a master copy of whatever it is that they're doing. And then I'll make copies of these now that I know how many students I have this year and keep them in this folder here. So the first thing that I have is a solving multi-step equations maze. The second thing I have is another maze. This is for the angle sum of a triangle. And the last thing I have is a riddle worksheet for Pythagorean theorem. So all three of these are from Teachers Pay Teachers. Then I have my plans for geometry. So for the first day, I have, it's a quiz based on what this person had it for. I would just be using it as a regular worksheet. And it's just angle pair relationships. For the second day, I have a super secret number puzzle for isosceles and equilateral triangles. For the third day, I have this sheet of practicing algebra for geometry. So they have linear pairs, triangle sum theorem, vertical angles, and quadrilaterals. All three of those are also from TPT. My last prep is SAT prep. So I have a triangle drill worksheet. I have a practice set of statistics questions. And then I have another practice set of lines and graphing questions. Okay, so behind these, I have these old green hanging file folders. And what I'm planning to do with these is if I make copies of a worksheet and we don't get to use them in class, I'm going to put them in here to save for either a day where I have a sub and I just need last minute sub plans or I might swap out maybe in the middle of the year with some of the emergency plans that I have in these file folders here. That's everything for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're interested in seeing more videos on how I organize my classroom, make sure you hit that subscribe button.